Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host Chris or CDB and today we have a lot to do this Saturday morning and we are going to be using the Maggard Lon London Barbershop Soap which is absolutely superb. I'll talk about that in a moment. We're also going to be using a new brush to me. This is the Simfix. It is, uh, what's the model number on it? Uh, Simfix SF1 which is made by Simpson Volfix. Uh, out of the UK. This is synthetic. I got this on eBay for $22 and it said it was a 26 millimeter knot. And then I went to other places and it calls it 25, but I want to show you the difference in the knots here. This is the Simfix and this is a West Coast shaving that is 26 millimeters. And as you can look at those knots, the West Coast shaving absolutely dwarfs it. This one is is not very dense if you squeeze it like so and you squeeze that one can you see the difference it's night and day this one is very thin in terms of it it's not very dense at all and it just lost a fiber there um also let's show you the old plasson this is uh the original plasson knot which i believe was 20 millimeters or maybe 22 and as you put it up beside the simfix it's bigger in the bulb than the Simfix. And this is either 20 or 22, I can't recall. I'm thinking it was 20. And this is supposed to be 26 according to eBay and then 25 in other places. It is quite small and not dense. Again, if you squeeze them, well, let me try to squeeze them <laughs> equally. They're, those are a little more comparable. There we go. Well, it's kind of hard, but this knot actually looks bigger than this one, even though technically at the base, it probably is 25 millimeters, even though it said 26, I don't know. Um, I'm a little skeptical of this brush just because again, look at a different, this one is 26, you know, and it is just, it door, I mean, it's, it's not even close. And even again, the old Simpson, I don't know. I don't know about this being 25. It might be at the base, but man, at the end, it, it's sure not very big and it's not very dense, but we'll give it a go and see how it goes. One of the other things I want to show you is I talk about la loading on the puck or lathering on the puck all the time and minimizing the amount of moisture that you get in it. Uh, you're, you can't see this in this light, so I'm going to roll in. Uh, let me roll in a picture. Take a look at this picture, and you're going to see yesterday when I loaded this, even though I had it upside down, what happened was when I turned it back over like this and I set it down through my passes, the little bit of moisture and lather that was in there made its way down the sides of the tub and underneath. So this is why I always uh, caution against putting water in the tub. And I tried to, I loaded it upside down, but the problem was I turned it over when I, when I was doing my passes and the little amount of moisture I had in there worked its way under. Again, look at the photo. And if you look toward the edge of that uh, soap at the bottom, you'll see that it works itself under the soap. And this is why it's critical that you air your soap out. That's really difficult to get out even if you let it air out for a long time. Whether it harms your soap, on, soap or not remains to be seen. But I can tell you, I have had soaps go bad by putting a lot of water in them. So. You do whatever you like, but I just wanted to make this cautionary note and show you and illustrate perfectly what can happen when you put water in there. And that is me loading with just a slightly wet brush upside down. And then I just happened to turn it over to set it down on the sink. And that moisture worked its way uh, down the side and under the tub. So that's something to be cognizant of. Uh, oh, I forgot about the razor. Today, this is gonna be an interesting shade. We're using the, I don't even know how to say the name of this. It's called the Challenger Vishu, it's V-I-S-H-W. It is a single edge razor because it uses a half DE blade. And I'm going to pull out an Astra here, which is sticking to the paper. It gets on my nerves because of the glue. And as you can see there, see that paper stuck to that? It's very annoying. I'm not gonna worry about it because it's not close to the blade, blade edge, but anyway. This takes a half DE blade, and I've never loaded one before, so we're gonna see how this goes. I think it just sits in there like that, and then I believe you close it. 
like so. And there you have the blade, and I guess that'll hold it in, we'll see. It doesn't pivot, but there is a little bit of play in that. Again, this is the Vish, Vish U, or I, I don't know how you say that. Um, I think it's made in India, I'm not sure, it doesn't actually say, but in some of the documentation that I have seen, it looked like it's made in India. Let me go ahead and wet my brush. And as you can see, when that brush is wet, it's there's not much as far as fiber goes. And we're gonna load upside down again and try not to get any moisture in this soap. And I'm gonna set this soap down this way so the water doesn't run down the sides of the tub like it did yesterday. And again, I know some people don't care about that, but I'm not sure that everybody knows that's happened. In fact, I've mentioned it before and somebody's like, oh, I didn't think of the soap running. You know, they think of this being a solid from edge to edge and that there's no way the water can get underneath the soap. And I'm here to tell you it does. And I just showed you, and that is conclusive proof that it does. I've been down this road, people. Learn from my experience and mistakes because I have ruined soaps. Uh, by the way, this soap, Maggard, London Barbershop. Oh, it's one of the best barbershop scents. It, it is in the school of, in terms of type of scent, of that um, fine American blend, but it is not that scent exactly. But it's in that school in that it's really nice, good, it's sweet. It's a barbershop, obviously it's a barbershop, London barbershop. It is not an exact copy of that, but it's in that school. It is similar. So if, just, if you want to use um, fine, fine American Blend as a reference, then you can do that. Uh, also, we're going to announce the giveaway winner today, so please stay tuned. And I realize I'm seven minutes in and I've yet to do anything, so let's get going. We've got our brush loaded. I've set this down this way, so no water <laughs> won't run down in it. And again... You know, it's just, it's crazy. I tell people all the time about this stuff. Let's show you the ingredients while I'm wetting the face. And most of the time they don't listen. <laughs> but there again, you know, I'll just show you. And again, do whatever you like with your equipment. It is completely up to you. But just know that water, if you're, if you are putting a lot of water in that tub, it can and probably is working its way underneath it, and if you don't have a translucent tub like these, you will not know it. And what I found in mine was that when I, uh, I had a soap that I actually pulled the soap out of, and at the bottom, underneath there was black substance in it. I don't know what it was. I'm assuming mold or mildew. I can't be sure, you know. But I actually pulled all the soap out of it and looked under it. Now, this is several years ago. And if you don't believe me, ask the inspector because I was talking to him while I was doing it. And I told him I've ruined my soap. And that was when I used to bloom them and put water in the tub. Now again, if you're gonna use your soap up within a relatively short period of time, you're gonna use, don't worry about it. It's not gonna make a difference. But if you're gonna keep the soap for years and years, then I would suggest some care. The brush actually doesn't feel bad. Um, it does feel, honestly, in terms of the density of the knot, it feels like a 20 millimeter old Poisson type knot. Um, but it did, did okay as far as getting a load and creating a ladder. ladder. Okay, let's look at the Challenger here. I got this, by the way, from the inspector. He sent it to me. And of course it's plastic and very, very light. And hmm, that's surprisingly good. <laughs> I mean, that felt okay, honestly. Um, I think it's mild, but it feels good. I mean, it's cutting well. It's honestly, the way that blade, blade feels, um, it feels better to me than a lot of the vintage razors. Like, um, for example, a super speed's very mild and I really have to work to get it to cut the way I want it to. This one feels a little more efficient than that. Um, and again, it's using a half DE blade. Got an Astra in here. Feel pretty good, actually. Now, I have never seen this used. I, I know that I'm aware that people have used it. I have not seen those videos yet. I didn't even know this razor existed, to be honest, until the inspector sent it. And then I started looking it up. And then I saw where 
a few folks have uh, used it, but I didn't watch the videos because I wanted to be able to use it myself and sort of uh, get a feel for it and not have any, you know, preconceived notions about it. Feels pretty good. It's, it's surprisingly efficient. I, I think it's still in the realm of mild, but I am feeling blade on my skin. Like this is not the mildest razor I've ever used by any stretch. Uh, honestly, it feels a little more smooth than the Razor Rock Echo, for whatever that's worth, with this Astra Blade. Um, so first pass, good, no problems whatsoever. That worked well. This soap, scent, this uh, Strength of Scent, is still very good, and this is an older soap. Strength of Scent is good six, maybe seven. So it is not one you have to hunt for in terms of the scent. You know, you don't really have to crane your nose around to, to smell it, it is there. And it is a good performer. It is, uh, did I knock my camera over? I don't know. Made by Maria Armin of Through the Fire Fine Craft. Good artisan. You know, this brush is doing the job. Um, I think this one right here is the equivalent of that new Trafalgar Simpson they have. I just happened to see this on eBay and it was like 22 bucks or something. And I said, well, I haven't seen anybody using it. Let's give it a, you know, take a flyer on it. When I first got it, I was like, this thing is tiny, the knot. Just like the, you know, at the base, not the base, but at the top of the knot, there's not much. But as you can see, it works. I mean, it's doing a good job, but if you're used to feeling like the West Coast shaving two-tone, that's a lot of brush on your face. And, you know, if you're used to it, this is going to feel quite small, even though it's stated that it's 26 or 25, depending on where you read, but... On every other site, it listed it at 25 millimeter, but on the eBay site where I bought it, it listed it at 26. So my guess is it's actually 25. They probably need to fix that. Add soap, very, very good. Does the job. Um, I'd like a little more handle, I think. That hand's a little short, but honestly, the brush is, uh, is surprising that despite the fact it's not very dense, it's doing just fine as far as lathering goes, so I really can't complain on that too much. Um, it just looks really small and it feels small relative to the other brushes, but overall, you know, it's going okay. Okay, second pass. That's very, very nice. By the way, today I want to mention a brand new channel. Anthony Vincent, who's a supporter of the channel here. He, he sent gear and he, uh, he has supported the channel via Patreon as well. Um, just created his first shaving uh, video and I will link that channel down below. Congrats, Anthony. It's good to see your first video. He said he was, you know, a little bit nervous, uh, but you know, it gets more natural over time. So don't worry, Anthony, welcome aboard to the wet shaving content creator community. We welcome you. And uh, go on, stop by Anthony's and uh, thank him for supporting my channel and telling him I sent you. All right. So this razor, um, very, very light. So you're gonna have to be mindful not to use too much pressure. Um, again, this feels a little more smooth to me than the Razor Rock Echo. Obviously, it is not nearly as well built. It doesn't feel as good in the hand because it's plastic. But could you use this traveling? Um, yeah, you sure it certainly could. I mean, it's shaving okay. At times, it feels a little rough. And at times, it feels smooth. So I don't know why that is, but... The first pass, it's weird because the first pass felt smoother than the second, <laughs> which is the opposite of typically what happens, you know, a lot of times. So I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's doing the job for, it's probably five or six bucks, I would guess. Um, and I think the inspector said he got it at Global Shave or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But you might be able to get it uh, other places too. It actually does a decent job, as far as shaving goes. 
but it's not, you know, it's nothing to write home about, but I must say, given that, you know, when you pick it up and you look at it, you're like, what the heck is this thing? You know, it does a better job than you would expect. Now, if you have a tough beard, I don't know if, you know, really dense, tough, would it work really well on that? I don't know. I just don't know, but it does shave okay. So far, however, I have not been super impressed um, with the smoothness of any of these razors that uses half DE blades except for the leaf. The leaf is, is very smooth and it uses more than one, but the Echo I like, but I haven't found it to be super, super smooth yet. And this one is not super, super smooth either. This brush is actually okay. I'm, I'm really surprised. It's done a better job than I expected, I'll tell you that. I did not have great expectations, but given that I've tried Simpson Synthetics in the past and have not been thrilled with them, this one, despite having a, what I think is a really tiny knot at the working end of the knot, is better than, it actually performs better than the old Chubby Synthetic, remember the Chubby 2, which were very expensive and they wouldn't hardly play. And the Classic, which I hated. This one actually isn't bad, honestly. Um, but I will say, if you're accustomed to a bigger knot at the working end, you're, you might be disappointed, but it's working pretty good, to tell you the truth. I am pleasantly surprised, and I hope that Simpson will start uh, using knots like this that splay well, because that's been my, I love the Simpson handles. I love them. They have some great color. I mean, they're expensive, but I really, really love them. But boy, those, uh, um, those synthetic knots, honestly, um, I convinced myself that I liked the Chubby 2 early on, because I was just in love with the handles, and ultimately I didn't like it. <laughs> it just didn't splay well, and it was a pain. You know, you really had to work to get the splay. But I hope that uh, Simpson will has sort of rethought those synthetic knots and they'll either set the lofts a little higher so they will splay or use knots more like this. Although I still want a bigger knot on the working end than this one. So Simpson, if you're watching, if you can put a bigger knot that's more like this in your handle, I would love to buy one. But it has to splay well. That is critical for a synthetic, especially. By the way, this soap is terrific. It smells great. I just love this. It's one of the best barbershop scents around, as far as I'm concerned. It is very, very good. And I like it a lot. One of the best. It is definitely, it will be a great companion. If you like CAD, you know, Phoenix CAD or soaps in that sort of territory. It's somewhere between, I would call it between, uh, say, CAD and Fine American Blend and the Razor Rock uh, Baby Blue, or not Baby Blue, but Blue Barbershop. Somewhere in between there. It's very, very good. By the way, the winner for the giveaway this week is, who was it? Gray Dog. Gray Dog, you are the winner, so email me, cdb at imcdb.com. And give me your address. It might take me a while to get it to you because right now everything's on lockdown and I will not be making a trip to the post office, but I will get it to you as soon as I reasonably can when I'm out sometime, but I'm not making any trips out right now except for essentials because we are on mandatory lockdown due to Corona. And I hope everybody's doing okay with that Corona. It's the United States now has more active cases than any country in the world. We're number one, woo, in a bad way on this one. <laughs> but we always try to be number one and sometimes for not the right reasons. And we're number one, again, in a bad way. <laughs> I could do without it. I would love for someone else to win this one, but sadly, we're in the lead. But we are a pretty big country relative to a lot of countries and population. Well, that has not been too bad, actually. 
Not bad. Okay, let me get a rinse. We'll come back and get to the post. Stay tuned. And all right, here we go with our Thayer's Witch Hazel, which is very good stuff. And by the way, I forgot to mention the cost on this soap. It is $15.95 for four ounces at Maggard or $3.98 per ounce. And as you can see there, that's still in the thumbs up territory. Very fair price for a very good soap in my estimation. Scent is just fantastic. It's one of the better barbershop scents out there as far as I'm concerned. Again, Maggard London Barbershop. If you're a, if you're a lover of barbershop scents, try it because it is really outstanding as far as I'm concerned. Okay, the Challenger. Would I use this as a daily driver? Absolutely not. It is not nearly smooth enough for me. Again, I might need to find a different blade, but could you shave with it in a pinch? Could you travel with it? Would it get you by? Absolutely, and you may actually like it. I think it might give people with super dense, tough beards a little bit of a problem by virtue of not having much weight. I think the weight helps a lot of times. Um, and I don't really care that much for light razors generally. I own some, but I prefer a little more weight. But this will shave, shave you, and it uses half a DE blade, so not bad. The Simpsons, the Simfix, um, it is SF1. About 22 bucks is what I got it for. It was better than expected. It will splay at least. So if you've had a Simpsons synthetic, this is Simpson Volfix. Um, if you've had one that wouldn't splay in the past, this one will splay. So thumbs up on that. They're getting in the right direction. I might try one of the um, travel guard brushes now that I've tried this one because if they splay, you know, I'm interested. That's always been the thing to keep me away from the Sim Simpsons, Simpsons <laughs> synthetics. They have not splayed well traditionally. This one is. That's fantastic. We're gonna close it out today with the old school Aqua Velva. Doesn't smell anything like London Barbershop, but you know, what the heck, we're just gonna go old school today. Good old Aqua Velva. Most people like Aqua Velva, that powdery barbershop type scent, old fashioned. I like it a lot, or maybe I'm old fashioned, you know. I want to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I want you to remember it's your shave. Do it your way. And God bless.